Ready for a wild GTA Online ride? Watch our character destroy 50 signal jammers using just a pistol while crashing helicopters like it's their day job. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. The OGG channel is normally pretty serious, we're all about those tutorials and guides, but that's not actually why we game. Especially in GTA, we love tackling nutty challenges and pushing the limits of gameplay and generally doing stupid shit. And I thought it might be about time we showed it. Let us know in the comments what other absurd missions you'd like to see us attempt, and don't forget to share your thoughts on this chaotic adventure. Today we're taking a wild ride through Grand Theft Auto Online as our character embarks on on a daring mission to destroy 50 signal jammers with nothing but a pistol. So buckle up and let's get started. And we are off to a cracking start. Found a couple okay, but number three proved problematic. Could have found the general location, but landed on the wrong side of the freighter and couldn't get back to the chopper. So off to get another one. Had a ridiculous time actually spotting it, but got there eventually though. And after that, I had a pretty good run until I went to the mall. And my chopper um, kind of wouldn't let me back in. Right, off to get another one, and a few more without issue. And then we hit this bad boy, the infamous Vinewood Sign Signal Relay Station Jammer. Talk about a tough challenge. We've got no high ground, no ladders, and no tall buildings within pistol range. It's like trying to catch a fly with chopsticks. It's just about impossible. We'll come back to that one afterwards. And a couple of quick wins. Chopper's smoking again, so off to grab another one. Couple more quick wins and off to the prison. So let's scope this one out a little. Not entirely sure about the approach to this. And in we go. Where the the f is this thing? Uh oh, nope, that's not going well. Where the crap is it? Time to make a hasty escape, I think. And I'm dead. Next chopper, next tower. Hmm, yes, graceful. Actually, that gives me an idea. <sighs> right, let's try that again. Mother f clocked up a few more wins. And then we have this. Fort Zancudo, the most heavily guarded part of the map. And Jimmy here is less than a level 20, has no money, no hanger, and is armed with a pistol. This can only go well. Right, time to clock up some more wins. And that is the last of them, except for those pain in the ass ones. Right, so let's visit those pesky jammers and see if we can conquer them once and for all. Fort Zancudo Air Base. After more helicopter crashes than we can count, our character takes a leap of faith. He'll parachute down like a true action hero, landing on the control tower and blasting that jammer to smithereens. But the fun doesn't stop there. Since there's no safe way down, our character takes another dive, but it doesn't quite get the parachute out in time. Back to the prison. Our daring protagonist finally finds the perfect landing spot and swoops in stealthily and pops the jammer before the guards even know what hit him. Now that is what I call a smooth criminal. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the Vinewood Sign Signal Relay Station Showdown. This one's super clean. So let's have the stolen chopper over the jammer, rotor blades slicing the signal tower like a hot knife through butter. And as the helicopter's about to blow, our boy jumps out, sacrificing themselves in a fiery explosion that finally destroys the stubborn jammer. Talk about going out with a bang. Well, there you have it, folks. Our character has conquered the 50 signal jammers using only a pistol and a few choppers, but we won't talk about that. And thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.